So let's move on. We have here a carotid ultrasound uh, patient presented with an abnormal CTA of the head and neck. Beginning at the on the right side, uh, proximal neck, we have the abnominate here and subclavian. You can see the sonographer has actually labeled that this is a mirror image. So it's one of those things we look out for, especially when we're low in the neck. Moving on to the common. Distal, you see a little bit of plaque along the anterior wall. That doesn't appear to be anything significant. And you can tell by the color here, it is pretty uh, laminar. So there's no post anotic turbulence happening. There's another focal area of uh, calcification. You can see the shadowing here at the bulb on the posterior wall. And then we move into the ICA. And this is actually a pretty dramatic image. When you look at this, it almost appears that the, the ICA would be totally occluded, but you do see color and um, some aliasing here. But that is a pretty impressive plaque. Move on to the ECA. So here's a uh, subclavian. We'll just run through. Uh, doesn't appear to be any significant findings in the CCA. Vertebrals are integrated. ECA. We move to the ICA proximally. When the sonographer was actually able to get. Uh, it appears to be very proximal because this is looks like the bulb here so likely they changed um, positions on a neck in order to get that proximal velocity and if we go back the uh, proximal velocity was 102 centimeters per second and just uh, post that large impressive plaque we saw we get 197 and then taking another sample at 216, you can see how the uh, keeping the scale at the same as it was in the previous segment, we get a pretty dramatic drop in velocity. And there's a better image of the ICA, uh, obviously changed positions, and you can see the irregular plaque likely um, well, it kind of looks like an ulcerated plaque here. Let's see if there's color. You can see there is color going through this plaque, so it's kind of hard to tell on 2D, but and in a longitudinal view, but there is flow getting through there, obviously. And there's the bifurcation in transverse. Moving on to the left side. There's also a little bit of calcification here at the bulb in proximal ICA. We can see the delayed upstroke uh, in this waveform. spectral broadening, elevated end diastolic velocities. So with this, it was basically a 50 to 69 percent stenosis on the right. Uh, the plaque appeared way more impressive than what the velocities indicated. If we go back to the right side, uh, so it's just one of those things where you don't want to be fooled into thinking it might be more than it is. Uh, this is 2D, however, um, the plaque is irregular and calcified, so taking several samples through any areas where you see aliasing all through this area is important 
just making sure we get the highest velocities possible.